Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Amber, welcome to my channel, and today I'm gonna be testing out some Stress Calm supplements from Nature's Bounty. As a brief disclaimer, I wanted to note that this video is not monetarily sponsored in any way. However, I did receive the product from Influencer and Nature's Bounty in order to review. Now, the product that I have here today is their Stress Comfort Fast Acting Calm Supplements. This is what the product itself looks like. We have the Stress Comfort Fast Acting Calm to soothe your mind quickly in response to stress. The primary ingredient in this is Zembrim Canna Extract at 25 milligrams. This is what the supplements themselves look like on the inside. Pretty much the vibe seems that you're supposed to take one of these anytime that you're feeling, you know, stressed or overwhelmed and the plant extract in it is supposed to have more of a calming effect to kind of like chill you out a little bit, which is fantastic timing to be able to try this for myself at least because your girl has been so stressed lately, like we're managing, but we're not thriving right now. So I am incredibly excited to be able to test these out. Admittedly, I am not the biggest supplement person, so I do have my hesitations and like reservations about it, but that's exactly why we are doing this video. I'm going to be testing out the products. Okay, so TLDR, suffice to say, I am stressed. I just have so much stuff to do on my to-do list right now and just other stuff keeps coming up. So I am going to be trying one of these today to see how exactly it works and if it helps me chill the fuck out a little bit. You just pop the little blister pack and this is what they look like. It's green on one side and like pink on the other. So many sensations. Okay, that was an experience. <laughs> You first bite into them and like first taste them on your tongue and it's like kind of a watermelony. And I'm like, oh, okay, I have bubba vibes. And then you chew and it has a cooling sensation. So it tasted like I just like ate icy hot. Then the flavor turned like less watermelon and more kind of like a cough syrup type vibe. Oh man, that was just so many sensations, but we will see how that works all right so it's a little while later i vibed i took the tablet i laid down and i am i don't know i do feel chill feel, feel chill i feel like my breathing feels a slightly more manageable because um, sometimes when i'm just overwhelmed or get like too stressed i end up having the sensation of constricted breathing. However, I kind of feel sleepy and I don't know if that's like supposed to be one of the effects of the tablets. So that's how we're doing like five, ten minutes in. We'll see how that continues to go. So I don't know if the tablet itself has what worked or if it's just more placebo effect, but I was actually able to like chill out for most of the day and like get a lot of work done without being like too overwhelmed or stressed by it and literally just like able to chill enough to be able to take one thing at a time and be like super productive so day one of taking them was a success whether or not it was actually because of the tablets or just like personally being able to chill out I can't totally tell because like the skeptic in me is partially like oh it was just placebo but then the skeptic in me is also just like well I don't really believe in it enough to 
begin with for it to effectively work as a placebo. I was definitely able to maintain levels of non-stress more or less. So we'll definitely have to see how it goes with further uses. But so far, so good. I did, however, stay pretty sleepy for most of the day. So whether or not that just has to do with like my own shitty sleep schedule or if the tablets themselves cause a little bit of drowsiness is a little unclear. All right, so ya girl is stressed as per usual these days. I just, I have a lot of work to get done that, you know, isn't too bad, but like some of it is dependent on other things that are outside of my control, which is always super, super frustrating. And I have to do it on like today's a day where I don't have the house to myself. I have other people in the household for the majority of the day, which is something that always like stresses me out because I, I have this, I don't like working if other people are around and it's incredibly frustrating because like it's so unrealistic to like only be able to work when I'm alone. So we're gonna try this sucker out again. I just don't love the flavor. Okay, so this is such a weird sensation. It's been a few hours since I took the stress tablet and it's very, very weird. It's a very, very unique sensation because part of me feels like, part of me feels anxious, but like it's been muted. Like the only way I can kind of explain it is it feels like somebody put a blanket over my brain. Like, I still have the slight sensations of anxiety, but they're not affecting me like they should be. And I keep waiting for it to like kick in and it's not. I'm kind of just chilling. I've been able to like actually sit and chill and like get a lot of my work done. Um, even having like other people around, like I've been able to actually like focus on it and I've knocked off a lot of my to-do list. I realized that I have a lot more to my to-do list and a lot more things out of my control than I realized. So I think that was causing, like that's what's causing some of the kind of just generalized anxiety feelings. But it's so weird. Like I cannot explain this sensation other than just like, it feels muted. Like I, again, you know, at this point, I feel like that's not something that would happen with like a placebo effect, you know? Like it would be more all or nothing. So I feel like this has to be in relation to the tablets. Do you ever like get so stressed out that you almost feel numb? like you're just so overwhelmed that your brain just decides to check out instead of actually dealing with any of it because that's where we're at right now and it's like so frustrating too because it's like pretty late in the day like it's the afternoon it's like four o'clock i was fine most of the day like i was chilling like i definitely have had stuff to do but like i've been working on it here and there so it's not like i've been ignoring it like i've was fine and then out of nowhere I just uh, was thinking about some stuff and like realized that I had a bunch of stuff to do that's like not on my immediate to-do list but just like in general stuff that I've been putting off or like kind of just forgot about got me so overwhelmed and just realizing the amount of stuff that I have to do that I just haven't gotten to my brain just decided to like check out it's not a feeling I get terribly often. When I do get it, it's normally because I'm so ridiculously overwhelmed and I'm not at that point right now. I've actually been able to like manage and maintain stuff fairly well. Bless you, baby. You hear my puppy sneeze? Hi, my good girl. So like to not be that overwhelmed right now and to still just be mentally checked out is very frustrating. So even though it's like later in the day, it's like four o'clock, it's early evening, I think I'm going to take one of the pills, the tablets, whatever you want to call them, 
to see if that helps a little bit because like your yeah, girl's got shit to do so it's been about two three hours since i took the stress tablet and i'm actually i'm doing okay comparatively um you know i took the tablet i took my dog on a little walk came back and like normally having to take my dog on walks when i have other stuff to do ends up like adding to my overwhelm but i was actually able to like you know within a few minutes like calm chill the fuck out be able to like mentally check back in and be able to like come back and start getting more of my work done so i've been getting a lot done actually and being able to power through and work on a lot of stuff the past couple of hours so as much as part of me kind of wants to say that these are placebo part of me also thinks that they might work oh hi puppy mm. hi speaking of so like i don't really have the experience of testing things and like having them work very effectively because most things tend to be gimmicks you know how it goes mm. oh yeah do you agree hi you agree mm. Yeah, agree that capitalism's bullshit and most things are gimmicks that don't work. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so the fact that these have been working so far and that I've actually been able to chill out and effectively get more work done has been very, very impressive. Mm. Yeah. And you get to go on a lot more walks because mama isn't so stressed. Are you ever just like in one of those periods where no matter how much work you get done, it's never enough. Like you can get so much work done and there's always just so much more left to do that it's just like, what's the point? Because that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like thankfully I've been able to like get a lot of work done, especially like with these stupid like stress tablets. They're not stupid. I just, it feels silly like is able to calm me down enough to where I'm actually actually able to like focus on work and I got a lot done but there's just always so much more left to do or more that gets added to the list and it's just like when will it end it doesn't it never does ever especially in media it sucks <laughs> so time for this baby <laughs> So it's a few hours after taking that last stress tablet and I'd say today has been the most successful usage of it so far because not only have I been able to like chill out, oh do you see my puppy in the background? Not only have I been able to chill out enough to be able to get some work done, I've been able to like chill and relax enough for it to be enjoyable. For example, I'm currently in the middle of a book that I am uh, doing a review for an author and lately I've just been like stressing myself out about it, trying to like finish it and read it before the uh, release date. And so I haven't been able to like actually sit and enjoy the book very much. I've just been like trying to read it and you know haven't you know i've been having trouble focusing because i've had so many other projects to do and so yesterday i had finalized the latest video that i had been editing much faster than i normally do and much faster than anticipated so i instead of like immediately starting a new one today I uh, decided to like push it back and I decided to like read a bit but I was able to like actually sit back and relax enough like I made myself a nice cup of tea I went outside onto like the patio in the sunshine and by that I mean like under an umbrella because your girl the way too pale to be in the sunshine and hi hello focus thanks um like I made myself a nice cup of tea, I read a couple chapters of the book and it was like very very enjoyable and just like a very very pleasant experience. You know I wasn't stressing myself out over like other things that I had to do or you know just being distracted like I was actually able to invest myself in the book and now I think I might even let myself have a little bit of a break from like just straight work and I think I'm gonna hop in the pool we put it up last week and i still just haven't used it because i've just been so stressed and so worried about like working on stuff 
and let's be real like I have just been so stressed and so distracted like I've been ignoring basic hygiene like I haven't been using deodorant I haven't showered like I'm so gross right now I like haven't changed this shirt in a couple of days and so I was just like well why don't I like go hop in and do a couple of laps in the pool you know relax do a little bit of a workout and then you know I can get out I can shower I'm actually I'm feeling okay I just like I am still you know in the back of my mind very overwhelmed with the amount of work and just the never-ending to-do list that I have but I also know that in certain aspects I'm either on schedule or ahead of schedule so I'm actually like okay I have the ability to like step back allow myself you know some kindness and self-care and some basic fucking hygiene and you know I'm still gonna be okay schedule wise I'm still going to be able to accomplish like stuff that I'm working on been a few days since I've taken any more of the tablets simply because I just haven't been very stressed um, I've been able to like manage everything totally fine on my own hasn't been a big issue for the past couple days today however I have a lot going on today I have a lot on my to-do list and schedule I had to make a phone call in regards to a job thing and blah 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 so I am just not feeling it today. I do think that it right now in particular it might be a little bit more so anxiety than it is just straight up stress but we're gonna take one of the tablets anyways and see how that goes. All right it has only been a few minutes since I took this tablet and I already feel so much better like it feels fake. It feels like I'm kidding myself, but also I know that I was like I was so worked up, I would not have been able to like feel any effect like if it were just placebo, you know. I mean, maybe, I don't know, psychology runs deep. It's been an hour or two, I think about two hours since I took the tablet, still feeling great, which is especially surprising because I've in since taking it, I've gotten a ton of news that Normally I would be incredibly overwhelmed. I, like it's all good news, thankfully. Today is a good day, good news, but uh, it does mean just a shit ton of extra work and a bunch of stuff that I need to like juggle and balance and manage, which would normally have me so overwhelmed that it would like prevent me from getting anything done and, or not anything, like I would just be a lot slower at doing things done because I'm just so overwhelmed. And I'm not feeling any of that. I'm actually able to just like be excited about the opportunities that I'm getting and continue to work on projects that I was already in the middle of and try and figure out and work these new things in. So I am so stressed and anxious right now. I am about 10-15 minutes away from doing like an online job interview and it has been so long since I've had, it has literally been five years since I've had to like interview for anything. So, <sighs> stressed. This might be a steak, but I am gonna try taking one of these tablets to see if it helps manage my anxiety a little bit because I need to calm the fuck down before I have to talk to somebody and try and sell myself as an employee. So, let's see how it goes. All right, so the stress tablet definitely did not help manage the anxiety for that interview. Um, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to because it was more anxiety based than actual stress based. So I'm definitely not surprised by those results, but yeah, definitely did not work, but I was offered the job on the spot, so. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I'm feeling. Like, I'm definitely stressed, but it could definitely be more anxiety-based than just stressed stressed. So we're going to have to see how today goes because I have a lot on my to-do list, but I also, I got hired for that new job and I was like potentially supposed to have a shift starting as early as like tomorrow and the app that everything's supposed to be done like has me scheduled for no shifts like ever so I tried emailing 
the person that I interviewed with to confirm whether or not that was correct and haven't heard back yet, which I mean is fine. It's still early in the day, but you know, trying to figure out if I have to work somewhere in person while having like a shit ton of stuff on my to-do list in other regards is pretty stressful and also just the amount of work that I have to do. So we're going to pop this guy and hope that I'm able to chill the fuck out enough to not obsess over it. So the tablet didn't really help with the anxiety this time around. I wasn't really expecting it to. I was kind of just hoping. I mean, I was able to calm down enough and like get some of my other work done. So I've actually been making a decent amount of headway on my to-do list but uh, the anxiety from the in-person job and communication didn't quell until I finally received an email back from the person. It's starting to come back a little bit because stuff he said in the email was, um, didn't end up happening. The absolute just bullshit about communication. Um, but like I've been able to get stuff on my to-do list done and chill enough in that aspect so that's not adding very much stress at the moment but yeah I'd say for the stress tablets they definitely work for like actual stress stress but don't have high hopes for anxiety induced stress with them.